Once upon a time, in a magical kingdom called Skyrim. Everything was fine, until some douche named Igil Knit decided to make a Skyrim series, throwing the entire kingdom into chaos. And everyone in Skyrim prayed for a hero to come and solve every problem, as well as some side quests including the rebellion war that is currently taking place. So, we are making a hero. I thought of making him a human, but... Other we go, cats for the win. The key trace. Our hero must be very strong. It will make sense soon. Also a couple of finishing touches, so it's not preset copyright. And oh my god, the hero is born. And his name, as well as game shall be. Doddy. The Magical Boxer. Fantastic, fabulous, utterly amazing. Toddy here, the magical boxer, is a very anxious introvert, he locked himself up in a cell. He was a very normal cat in the very first few days of being locked in. Until suddenly, he was struck with a protagonist will. He felt like training with a weapon. But the only weapon he had was his fists. And so, he learnt boxing, and after years of training, he was a master at boxing. Keep in mind that you don't have to eat in Skyrim, so he was fine. And so, he asked the goddess, who is also his wife who if he could leave this cell because he felt like he was needed somewhere. She didn't answer, so Toddy punched the door open. Upon exiting the cell, he realized the escape life center, the dungeon was flooding with water. He picked up a torch, and oh no, there are ghosts. Be gone, spook. One shall not poltergeist Toddy the magic boxer, who is me. And so, he took a little nap and found a room with things. But the things were kind of useless because he is an unarmed fighter. Then he discovered that he can do magic. Onwards, advance. He eventually found the exit. And oh my god. Skyrim has changed a lot during these few years. Toddy could understand why he had a feeling to need to escape, something was summoning him to slay a dark force. Anyways, off Toddy went. Of course, Toddy needed to get his old friend. A mud crab named Clinker. Toddy wanted to try out his boxing skills on a passing fox, and upon knocking the fox out, paid his good gamer respects. Then he met a traveling bard. Toddy wanted to know how Skyrim's medieval Viking land shanties had changed, and so, he paid the bard to sing. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. With a voice wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe, the dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. For the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know, the dragonborn's come. Toddy was quite impressed. And so, Toddy advanced. Then he met a big bully. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? He said mean things to Toddy. Toddy told the bully that at least Toddy actually had a mother and the bully became very angry. I don't have to take that from you. Now Toddy can box with a human. But oh no. The bully has a shield and is wearing armor. So. Toddy combined his punching with fire magic. And so the bully died. Hooray, he did it. And so, he paid his respects. And what's this? It's the traveling bard. The traveling bard looked at the mess that Toddy made, and left. Very well. Onwards to Christmas land. Christmas Castle wasn't really how everyone described it as, it was grey and sad. It used to be very festive. But the guards were cool. Upon entering Christmas Castle, 
Toddy saw a very racist man and his friend making fun of a lady because of her skin. So, Toddy beat the crap out of the racist man and purchased a helmet. And so, he fast traveled to the dwarven place to look for Clinker the Crab. Then he manually fast traveled to Dragonland to realize he actually previously was in the right place, and so, he ran back to Dwarven Place. Then he saw a lady get stabbed, and so he punched the murderer to death. Clinker the Crab was apparently held slave to a wizard, and the wizard is doing Dwarven research in a cave. So Toddy decided to buy Clinker because he was on sale. Clinker was too expensive. Heck everything. And so, Toddy teleported to the cheat room and gave himself lots of money. Upon buying Clinker, Toddy also purchased a lot of spells from the wizard because Toddy was a magic boxer. Then Toddy found a funny cave. Ah, the cave was filled with bad guys, time to kill. Ah, a blacksmithing place. Toddy made himself a cool tactical pocket lantern and a custom Gucci wizard's hat. And upon trying to punch a door open, Toddy was attacked by a guy at when Toddy was at a bad mood. Then upon giving a goodbye tradition from his country to a fellow of the same culture. As well as killing a fox with unlimited power. Toddy came across a prison camp, which was attacked by a dragon. There were no survivors. Toddy went the usual tutorial path, every single person there was dead. And the door was blocked. Oh, come on, you have got to be kidding me. Toddy had to go all the way back manually. Then he activated a curse that made him glowing and sparkly, as well as noisy until the end of time. Upon finally exiting the place, Toddy went to the King of Dragonland Kingdom to ask if he could kill the dragon that just escaped. Hm, that's funny. Dragonland was usually darker and grayer than this. Now it looks like an anime. Hello, King Man. Could I kill the dragon that escaped Fort Prison? Toddy asked. Then the king ranted on about a dragon stone in a viking tomb. God damn it. And so, Toddy found his transgendered cousin, Chop, who was originally called Sweetheart, you know well what made her change. And so, after killing a big spider, telling the future, learning fancy spells and tricks. Remembering the alphabet and knocking out a skeleton king. Toddy got the dragon stone. And then, while the adults discussed politics, Chop decided to become a douche and killed Merlin. Run away. Toddy now knows the location to where the dragon is going to attack. And so, he equipped his best spells and prepared for the attack. really was a tough battle, for Toddy was a human. Well, cat human. But when support arrived, Toddy got a bit of an advantage. This is what glory does to people, giving them their will to slay dragons. Don't underestimate what is not dragon, dragon. And so, Toddy slayed the dragon. With his boxing and magic, he escaped prison, beat a bully, became rich, liberated a mine, raided a tomb and slayed a dragon. He conquered his dreams of being a dragon slayer, and so, as every hero does at the end of the episode. 
Toddy needed to go to the bathroom.